Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank, one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture, or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. The Isle of Scale, headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. Society. As Ark patrons, you are welcome to explore the castle grounds. However, certain areas are off limits, including the keep, which houses the members' area, convention space, and council meeting. Should you wish to apply for Ark membership, please be aware that such cannot be bought, only earned. All set? Excellent. Follow me, please. Zoe Washington, one of our newly appointed chairwomen, has prepared a brand new official ceremony scheduled to take place in the upper courtyard. A stirring ode to rebirth. 
birth and the enduring spirit of mankind. I believe that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Please enjoy your evening. Apologies, sir. This door is for initiates only. I'm sure you understand. Evening. Sorry, sir. Got orders. Can't let you through. Sorry for the inconvenience. to hit us, sir. What's with that weird bird effigy? It's the annual phoenix ceremony. It symbolizes the collapse of civilization in which the Ark Society emerges unscathed and triumphant. Ah, rebirths. Interesting. Zoe Washington is going to partake in a ceremony. I get it. What's new is that the master... Their ceremonies will light the effigy on fire with Zoe Moore. Filthy rich broad wants to flirt with danger to a lie like a letter. We pay for our silence, not our concern. Yeah, I guess you're right. Washington, the name, huh? Uh -huh. What the?
thinks us. Seriously, I'll, I'll pay you. Me? You're the master of ceremony. I'm a multiple Tony award-winning playwright. And famously reclusive. It's part of my brand. I never go on the spot like this. Besides, I do chamber plays. No, no, spectacle. What if people hate it? Shit, they hate it. They won't hate it, Mr. Feniger. It's just entertainment. Entertainment? Oh, good Lord, what have I done? Did I let her talk me into this? Should I tell Miss Washington that you won't be going on stage? Everyone's waiting for you. Go on, no. No, she frightens me. How are you today, sir? Shit. Okay. Get yourself together, Washington. The Master Hello, of sir. Ceremonies has arrived. We are good to go. Fennec, thank Christ. Ready when you
handsome pledge. And yet, a drop in the ocean. A little bit of constructive criticism. You could use a mint. Zoe Washington, the Ark Society recognizes you as our Founder's rightful successor, our inspiration, our guiding light, the custodian of our future. Excellent work, 47. Enjoy the spotlight. Patrons of the Ark Society, you are part of a select, chosen few. Our founder, Janus, showed us how to survive. But survival is not enough. We must live and we must soar. The Ark Society must not only commit itself to survival, but to progress. Be it our next home in the stars or the next step in human evolution. This is the eternal purpose of the elite. Not just to lead, but to lead from the front. When the time comes and all comes tumbling down, when mankind retreats once more into caves of superstition, we will keep the fire alight. We will be the torchbearers, the trailblazers and pioneers. Do, do not feel guilty for your privilege. Be proud. Be fearless. For the future is ours to shape. Sir? Evening, sir. Look at you, Fenegar. All dressed to kill. Now, let's do this thing. Light her up. As the world burns, we rise from its ashes, not just to survive, but to live. One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Sophia Washington. him, the Constant, Providence's top controller. Everything depends on capturing him alive. Hey! The 
This area is off Sir, limits. You should go. Huh? What the hell? Is going on? Right there! You. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> That is Sophia Washington. Chairwoman of the Ark Society, professional treasure hunter, and Providence operative. Quite the resume. I don't care if he spends the rest of his days as a washed up beach bum playing. I don't know what they see in that Aztec necklace. They act like it's a crown jewel. The council meeting. You know what it's about? Climate change. How are you this evening? Sorry, uh, Council still in session? No, they've called a recess. Sophia Washington wants them to pass some kind of motion, but one of the council members is fighting her tooth and nail. Huh. Wouldn't happen to be Jebediah Block the coal bearer. How do you know? Well, I happen to know he's on the council. So Sophia Washington has called a council meeting between the original five members of the Ark Society. Sophia hopes to pass some sort of motion. Jebediah Block? Technically. Okay. 
I need an edge, and I need it fast. Well, Mr. Block, you look troubled. I know you, don't I? You're James. I'm a friend of the Ark Society, yes. If I may be so bold, I heard about your predicament, and, well, I believe I may offer a fresh perspective. Why not? All right. Say the world does collapse, the weather goes haywire, the poles melt, and the Ark Society heads off to a comfortable Arctic sanctuary, while the rest of civilization falls into chaos. That's about the gist of it. Sounds great to me. No more needy assholes. Why wait? Well, you do realize what kind of place it'll be, right? What are you talking about? A hundred or so people? No market? No economy, no social structures. It will be like a space colony. Everyone equal and dependent on each other. It will be egalitarian, sir. It will be, well, communist. My God, that's what I paid almost two billion for? Why didn't anyone tell me sooner? Merely food for thought, Mr. Block. Good night. I... I need to... Uh, think. Jeez. Hey, would you mind? Check it out. Watch out. You stay here and try not to get in my way, all right? Okay. Why does this always happen to me? Uh down. I'll investigate. Good evening, Sophia. Good day to you, sir. Both targets down. Impressive work, 47.
Wow. I don't like people who throw stuff. Jeez. And then I have to check. Mister! Where on earth did that come from? Nothing again. Wow. What? Meyer? Jim and I have time. What do I care? When he never sleeps, Meyer? Hey.
Bobisa. And the schemer. What's she up to this time? Miss Washington, yeah, like real after landscape. due consideration, I have revised my position. I would like to support your motion. Well, well, look at you, Block. Finding your good sense and manners. Come along, then. I'll call a vote at once. I knew you'd come around. You're stubborn, Block, but you're not a schmuck. You know I'm right. The analysts of my father's think tank have been grinding the data for months. And they are rarely wrong. The Karuna Hello, sir. climate litigation. We estimate oh, that fossil hi. fuel companies like yours have a decade, at best, before you're all resigned to the junkyard of history. And what kind of secret society would we be if we didn't keep each other in power? What indeed? I knew we could talk sense. Just vote in favor of my motion. And I promise you, Block, you'll power the world for decades to come. But who cares how? As long as you're the one getting paid. Ain't that the truth? You look good tonight, sir. room and proceed with the vote.
founders. The recess is over. Let's return to the council room and proceed with the vote. Well, you've certainly placed yourself at the crossroads of history. Nicely done, 47. Let's reiterate. For decades, you, the titans of the... ...energy industry have conspired to obscure the truth about climate change through lobbying, misinformation, and propaganda. This strategy has been incredibly successful, but all good things must come to an end. It is time for you to adapt or die, ladies and gentlemen. This is why our analysts have devised a 10-year transition plan to keep you in power. Play this right, and you will not only thrive, but this time, you will be the good guys. In other words, you have nothing to lose. So, everyone in favor, say aye. 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 Yay or nay, Block? Silence is consent. Aye. Five eyes. The vote is unanimous. The motion is passed. And now, I believe a toast is in order to the future. Signed, sealed, and delivered. To the future. The future. Yes. Hmm. Wonder if the castle's basements could house a permanent R&D facility. What? It's considering. <laughs> Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And... Now, to confront the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the Constant to the harbor where it's less crowded. You can hijack one of the Archean boats. Question is how? He's not likely to come quietly. Unless you get yeah. your hands on a kill switch. Yes, that might just work. Search one of the twins, 47. bet you could make the constant come quietly. Good thinking, 47. The Washingtons are dead. I have the kill switch. What did you say? How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves. No signs or warnings. I will trigger the device if I need to. I know you. The boy in the picture. You have his eyes. You're Bonewood's assassin. Move.
partners no more, I take it. I had a notion something didn't sit right with my mentor's betrayal. You murdered him, I take it, to get to me. Not just that. He had it coming. Interesting. It was my impression that you were cured of such sentiment. The good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. Has Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you? I wonder. Just keep walking. For what it's worth, Jane has always found Ortmeier's project distasteful, not to mention inefficient. But alas, sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Oh, I know. Take it, this is not an ICA-sanctioned operation. What exactly does Miss Burnwood plan to achieve by targeting her clients? Violating her own code? She's doing it for us. Us? I have been planning the Founders' oh, Week for over a month. I have hey, some of I should have known. How does a man leave no trace? by not existing in the first place. Lucas Gray, or was it Subject 6? He died when the Institute went up in flames, but no body was ever produced. And unlike you, his rage never faded. So, now you want the partners. The men behind the curtain who've caused you all this pain? Well, before you go knocking down a wall, you better make sure it's not load-bearing. No! 47, that was our only lead on the partners. Abort mission.
Turns around like a sucker. The tokens are here. And the first initiate to collect enough tokens that are just that man, you're looking jacked. If you give people a good pitch, the product people practically line up to fill their garret. Strange. Enough talking. You'll do plenty of that later. We're here. Get on the boat. Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. 
I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you were so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one, Miss Burnwood, is untouchable.